If this fucks up, I'm going to kill somebody. That's a real threat. You can take that to the police. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can do this. Uh... There you go. That didn't stretch it, right? That's not stretched. Please tell me that's not stretched. Please enjoy the cutscene while I figure out if this is good. Uh, center to screen. Yes, it is. No, I think that's good. It's still a square, right? Looks like a square to me. It's stretched nice and good. Please stop. <laughs> We're done with the porn games, okay? We're on to serious shit now. Nekopara is now the bar for what is allowed on stream. Hey, if I got away with Nekopara, then anything less than that is good. Yeah, we'll watch the cutscene and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this works and then I'm just gonna full screen it because it should be fine. I had no problems when I tested it, but I tested it for like 10 seconds because I didn't want to spoil this. Basically, okay, I wanted to give this warning before we started here. Uh, I'd like to interrupt this cutscene. Um, there's nothing, in, you know, you, 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 you got it. It's, uh, I've never played this game before. Never played any of the Silent Hill games. Don't know much about them at all. I just know that they're horror games, and they're supposed to be some of the best games ever made. So I want to play them. Uh, other than that, I'd like to issue a warning that if you've never played Silent Hill before, uh, I'm not really sure how to approach it. You know what I mean? Like... When it comes to a- when it comes to most games, if I'm just like talking shit over it, if I'm shit posting verbally, if I'm making jokes while the game is going, it's like, whatever, no big deal. Also, I- I was right, this seems to work in windowed mode. Um, but uh, with like a horror game, it seems almost like I shouldn't do that. Like I should be more serious, more silence to let the game's atmosphere kick in. I'm not gonna do that. So like, if you've never played Silent Hill before, and you want it to be like really scary, It'll probably be, still be pretty scary, but in the middle of one of the really scary bits, I might say, you know, I, you know, I was gonna say the N word there, and I don't know why I was gonna say that, but I might say something like that, and then uh, ruin the moment. So if you're, if you're not okay with, with me ruining the moment, uh, you can leave. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is supposed to be a really good game. So I'm giving you that's a that's a p completely reasonable thing to do if you want to do that. But I know a lot of people have already played this game, and I know a lot of people won't ever play it because it's on the fucking PS1, and they don't want to, uh, which N-word? You know which one. Uh, a lot of people won't play it anyway. But, welcome to Silent Hill. I just want to give you that warning. It's a spooky game, and I might make it less spooky. Um, so, you've been warned. Uh, I'm gonna make this full screen now. Cool. It, it has, no, it goes slower immediately. Never mind. We're gonna play this in windowed. Can I... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go. We're gonna play a normal. Because I'm a normal kind of guy. You know what I mean? I trust in Silent Hill. When you play a new game, you don't know what you're getting when you pick a difficulty. Because they fucking, they don't know how to do difficulties. When you pick hard, it just gives the enemies fucking more health. You pick easy, it gives them less health. That's how you do a difficulty, right? With an old game, I trust them. I trust that they figure out what normal is. You know what I mean? I trust that they know what a good difficulty level is. It's probably probably normal. Norway. Yeah, that's the N-word I was talking about. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm having that dream again where I teleport into the scene of Stephen King's The Mist. That movie sucks dick, this is the worst. Oh, and then I turn into a video game character and run. In the plane of my mind. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet, too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. It's like a... Silent Hill Cheryl 
Oh, also, by the way, uh, I love this game already. Uh, 10 out of 10 game. Gave me like fucking 10 seconds of introduction and then we're in. Do you need other shit? No. Do you need a fucking tutorial on how to run around in a Resident Evil tank control style game? No. You just play it. You don't have the map for this place. Okay. Triangle is map. B does nothing yet. Square is run. Ooh, I've got a Siddle button. That's another 10 points. Okay. Alright. How do I open a door? Not like that. Not like that. Nope. Nope. Okay, 0 out of 10 game. Can't open a door. Changed my mind. Wow, okay. Tank controls are gonna get some takes I'm getting used to. I never even really played much Resident Evil or anything, so tank controls are gonna... That's gonna take me a second. Your voice actually overpowers the volume a fair bit. Yeah, it seems to have gotten quieter, so I, I believe you on this one. Um, I will up it. So you can get that atmosphere. There's not much volume going on, though. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? You know, I thought we stopped playing Nekopara, but we still seem to be trying to fuck kids. Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Also, isn't this what happened in that Chinese game? <laughs> uh, she's... wow. Ah yes, the four buttons of a PlayStation controller. Triangle, B, square, and X. Hey, okay. I did my best. I tried to remember what the PlayStation control controls are, but I am indeed playing this with something else. And I always use an Xbox when I was like a kid. Well, no, I used a fucking GameCube, but that has the same buttons. And on PC, I always use an Xbox controller, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't know the... PlayStation buttons. Okay, I know them, but like, I got them wrong. Fuck, fuck you. Who cares? Can I interact with anything? Or is this a, is this, is this game a walking simulator? Am I gonna get to the end of the game and find out my sister was a lesbian and that's what the big horror part was all along? How do I, there's a way to like, Look around, I think. Is it L? No, nope, that's that's siddling. Beware of Dob. Or do? Beware of do. Beware of Dodd? Beware of Ooh. But, oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. I better follow Cheryl. I'd better not. What the? What is it? It's the ooh. Wait, there's a... Is there a symbol on the ground, or is that just... How... How is the volume right now, just by the way? Can you hear the, uh, the, like, very faint siren? Like, listen. You hear it? Do you hear that? Because if you can't hear it, X-Bone fanboy. No, the X-Bone fucking sucks dick. I'm not like a- I'm not 12, okay? I grew up with- with video game consoles that are not the ones that are out now. It's too low. Volume is good, can hear the ambience. Okay, well I'm gonna trust Jimmy, because he always- he usually gets this right, if even a bit loud. So if he's saying it's good, it's good. Oh, I like that fucking camera work. Except, I seem to be getting lost. Wait. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. Why is that strange? That's strange. The sun is setting.
broken wheelchair. What's this doing here? Well, it was used to... to transport a broken man. Okay, all right. What's this? <laughs> all right. I know I was gonna war- I was warning you about me making this, le like, less scary. I should warn you about the opposite happening, too. Cause this is actually fucking spooky already. I d it does get deflated by his reaction to everything being, What's this? Hmm. What is that? I don't know. Whoa, okay. Oh, I don't like this. All right, the music is fucking me up. Don't do that. Oh, I don't like them. Oh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Nothing's even fucking happening. I'm just running in circles. I, ra I did it again. Something's gonna catch me, please. This camera's fucking me up. I keep going the- Okay, so I need to go this way. Got it. Oh. Mm. Calm down. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I believe that's a- Oh! Ooh, I, I was fucking taking a drink! I'm fucking doing- Uh, stop. Stop it. Don't. No, don't. Please. Uh, get off me. Let me go. Wow, they- they do not fucking- like, they- there's no foreplay in this game. They just fucking ride out and stick it in, like... Hey, you're in a creepy town, with the only intro being the title sequence. Hey, there's little ba- there's little- little things trying to, like, attack you immediately. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Oh, okay. And that's the whole game. Thanks for joining me. Dad, I'm scared. <laughs> that doesn't help when I'm also scared by this. Oh, it was only a dream! Never mind. This game's not scary, this game's for babies. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you were dreaming! I feel like I had a very... Interesting oh, dream. Like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. Please tell me the name of the place. I don't know what happened. Please tell me the name of this place is Silent Hill, and they're about to give the title. I'd like to find out myself. What brought you here to Silent Hill? Uh-huh. Yeah! Have you seen a little girl? Just turned <sighs> seven last month. Short, black hair. <clears throat> My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Is everybody. Who goes to Silent Hill for a vacation? Tell you if I knew, believe me. Maybe they were a big fan of the game. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's just a dream. That's all I know. Don't worry about it, it's just a dream. Nothing's going on. What's your name? Harry. <laughs> Harry Mason. What a good Sybil name. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. <clears throat> How, but the radio's dead. Hmm. How are you gonna do that? You got a cell phone? Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've gotta find her. 
No way. It's dangerous out there. Officer, am I under arrest or am I free to go? I'm a case, sovereign you citizen. You cannot me. detain me. Am I being detained? You can't do that. I can't just leave her out there by herself. My daughter is also a sovereign citizen. Have you got a gun? Of course. Um, no. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. Oh, never mind. This is the fucking sweetest police officer I've seen in my now life. Listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. <laughs> All I can think of is this is immediately he points it at her and mistake. and that and does that. Got it? Yeah. Thanks. Dude, this is why people come to Silent Hill. They've got fucking 10 out of 10 cute cops who hand you free guns. Hey, I don't think it's safe out there. You want a gun? Here. <laughs> Take mine. I've got 20. There's a health drink. Take it. Yeah, paying for things, paying for things is for suckers. There's a flashlight. I will fucking need that. 110%. Residential area map. It's called Silent Hill. I fucking called it. It's actually called Silent Hill. But they didn't say the line, which is disappointing. What, what the fuck was that? Did you see? Did you see that? I turned away too fast. There was something fucking out there. Okay. Alright. Whatever, it's nothing. Someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. Oh, that was me talking. I'm talking about making these notes. I see. Okay, sure. Can I play pinball? Nothing unusual. Yeah, but like, can I play? This was Yakuza, you know, I could play pinball. Gotta say. Losing some points, Silent Hill. Why can't I interrupt my the spooky atmosphere? With pinball. Also, you know what? A knife in addition to a gun? Seems like a good idea. Take the health drink. Take the knife. How does the inventory in this work? Handgun. Equip. Uh, knife. Equip. Oh, you can have one thing equipped at a time. Okay, let's go with the knife. I'm thinking we probably want to save the handgun ammo. And probably there, where there's not going to be a lot of it. How do we attack? Excuse me? Oh, I see. You get in the football position. Then you hike. Gotcha. Just like high school. We are in the... Okay. Queen Burger. Oh, I love Queen Burger. In the Balkan Church. Fuck, I need to stop pressing triangle. I need to... I need to never do that again. I like how she said, It's dangerous out there. You should have a gun. So take my gun, and I'll go outside without it. Yep, that's... No, that's about what I figured. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna leave. See ya. Get me- no, no. Please, just let me- just let me go. Fuck you, then. Get the fuck away- okay, alright, no, I'm leaving. No! No, I don't! I- I don't have to do that. Uh... You know what? If I fucking die here, I don't even want to waste the items, so let's just... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Shit, I should have saved after I picked up that stuff, but it's fine. Now I know. You gotta kill that thing, so get the gun out and just do it. <clears throat> Walk away and avoid confrontation. That was my thought. 
right? That it's a fuck a fucking pterodactyl bursts in through the window. My immediate thought is not let's fight this fucker. My first thought is let's let's not let's do anything but let's. Oh, cool! It auto saved. Oh, sweet! Oh, this game fucking rules. What is this? Nineteen ninety nine, and they've got auto saving. What's that? Yeoman shit at huh. games confirmed. Radio. Hey. What's going on with that radio? Tank controls, I I have almost never played. Like it's gonna take a second. I like how that <laughs> You notice that? The pterodactyl breaks one window just to spook me, and then busts into the other one. Why'd he break that like there's no reason for him to break that first one. Other than just to be scary. Okay, here we go. Fucking easy. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? That's yeah, just your everyday dinosaur. Pocket radio. Yeah. Is that mustard on the counter? Yeah. Just stay calm. There's nothing to nothing to worry about. It's just a pterodactyl. You know what I'm realizing? Which is actually really weird. I'm realizing that I think I've played like 10 seconds of this game before. When I was like 4 years old. I remember that pterodactyl. I think my dad had this game. And, I, and he let me play like part of it. I guess I'll go check that alley again. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That alley where you were assaulted and died in a dream? Check it out. But actually, that's really thrown me for a loop right now. Um, that, like, I think I've played just like that part before. And like, maybe this little bit. It's, it's, it's weirding me out a little, uh, just a little. Wow, the uh, the fog is fucking intense. You can't see across the street. Also, the street is huge. Do you see how big the street is? Like, just think about it. Like, look at the size of a car, and look at how many cars could fit on one lane. This is like an eight-lane highway with two lanes. What were they thinking? <laughs> I also like this game is, like, surprisingly open-ended already, as far as, like, okay, fuck you. All right. Fuck off. Uh, it looks like it's still alive, but I don't want to waste bullets, so I'm gonna finish it off with this. Also, we already are down to enough bullets that we probably... Oh, we just kick it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Knife only run or get the fuck out. That's ridiculously scary. Yeah, but like, can you even kill those things with just a knife? Where am I on the map? Oh, I see. Cool. Okay, I'm going the right way. I know what I'm doing. Hey, but hey, how's it going? How's your uh, October been so far? Have you have you, you picked up any spooky games recently? Looking to play through anything good? Anything like this? Because myself, I have a long... Very long fuck off. I this is okay. I'm getting fucking deja vu. I remember this from when I was a kid I remember this from when I was a kid and I wasted all my bullets on the pterodactyl and I just fucking died And then my dad took the controller and said get out of here you stupid bitch You can't even play a fucking video game and that was the scariest part <laughs> Why are we going back here? You know what I mean? Like, why is this... Oh, but yeah, I've got like a long list of horror games that I'm thinking about playing. Uh, and I'm, I don't know. It's like there's too, there's too many fucking games out there. Like, that's my, that's my biggest complaint about video games in general. There's fucking too many of them. I can't play all this shit. You know, I want to play like handgun bullets. Oh, thank you. Like, I want to play Pathologic. That's a good game, I hear. I own it, even. 
But that'd take a lot of fucking time. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Oh, she went to school. Hmm. She's at the school. I was joking. You should not take that conclusion from... Okay, if you say so, buddy. You... F <laughs> really? Like, one piece of paper on the ground that's from a sketchbook that's the same sketchbook your kid has, but, like... You saying nobody else has that sketchbook? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, okay. This, yep. No, I mean, that makes more sense. That picture, it's me. The likeness is striking. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. I'll just leave it on the fucking ground. She doesn't need it. She's probably fucking dead. Is there a flashlight button, by the way? Dude, good form. Good form. Fucking spinning on a dime. I wish I could do that. Uh, should we keep going or should we just go to the... We cannot keep going. Okay, let's go to school. Yeoman and his pent-up depression about his father figure confirmed. Nah, my dad's an alright guy. That didn't happen. That was, a, that was a joke. You know what I mean? Sure, you know, okay. My dad may have done crack, but... Who hasn't? You know what I mean? Doesn't make him not a, not a good father. That was also a joke. He didn't do crack, he did meth. That's why his teeth were fucked up. Actually, I think his teeth were fine. <laughs> actually, I don't- Actually, I think it's just my mom who got messed up teeth. Fuck off. See, like, look, in this situation, it's running away is the thing to do. You're saving ammo. You don't get anything from killing him. You don't get fucking EXP. Uh, no, I meant map. Okay, this way. Okay, cool. Yeah, like, running away seems to be the thing to do. Also, does it make sense to maybe check out some of these places, or are they all going to be closed? I'm thinking they're all going to be closed. Maybe some of the ones that are, like, marked? But some of the ones along this road are marked, and they're not... Wait! Did the map say Cheryl? Cheryl's not there. She did the middle school. Why don't you erase that? <laughs> I mean, maybe she's there. All you did was find a notebook, but... Meth is the patrician choice. Don't do meth. It's, uh, it's not great. I wouldn't know. I didn't, I didn't take up the family business. Uh, I, I decided to not do meth. Uh, which was a, which was a, a shocking choice on my part. It was kind of like bucking the system. I was really, really quite a rebel for not, for not continuing on the meth train. But, uh, personally, you know, I thought I would just, you know, go my own way. You know, get my, get, get, maybe something new. You know, meth is a respectable choice, but it's a boring choice. You know what I mean? A meth life is a life that's already been lived. You're living somebody else's life. I don't need to live the meth life. Somebody else has done that already. Uh, the road, the road's gone, by the way. Doghouse Levin Street. Well, now she must be at the doghouse, clearly. Hmm. Are these blank? I can't. Nope. Okay, alright. I guess those are blank. I'm not even gonna pick them up and check. That alarm is getting closer. I think we're actually close to where it is. Also, wait, it said the doghouse on what? Because actually, we could probably go there. Levin Street. That's where we are. I don't know where the doghouse is, but this is this is Levin Street. There's a dog. Maybe this is his house? Oh, fuck. There's no road here either. I thought I saw something over here. No, I think it was just a mailbox. Fuck off. 
What did I miss? I was in the shower. Oh, we walked around in the fog for a while, and we uh, found some pages from our daughter, and then we, uh, we walked around in the fog for a little bit more, and we found some more pages from our daughter, and now we're going to the, we're going to middle school. Hope you had a nice shower. Uh, I think we need to go around. I think I, th I think the road's out, going this way, which you think would be a nice thing to. Oh, that's what those X's indicate. Okay, perfect, sweet. That's actually super useful. You know, we've got health drinks. I kind of wish we had, like, stamina drinks. I'm going to drink one. I'm a little low. I don't want some random dog to kill me. Don't worry, my family were only part of the Italian mafia that killed, tortured, sold drugs, and prostitution. It was a different time. You can't say it's a different time because they fucking killed people and tortured people. There was not a time in history where killing and torturing people was okay. Like, yeah, whatever, I raped her. Sure, I admit it. But that was like fucking, it was in the 50s. So what if I raped her? Rape was just a thing people did. It's like, no, rape was still pretty bad. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. You know, just as an example, I know we're, t we're not talking about rape. But like, oh yeah, I killed her, whatever. You know, it was fucking 1944. Killing was in. Time Magazine voted fucking Ted Bundy as man of the year. What was I supposed to do, not kill somebody? I wouldn't have been hip. You gotta kill people. If the, if the fucking news is talking about it, you know? I wanna be on a f cover of fucking Time Magazine. It's a different time. Am I going the right way? Well, I mean, technically no, but the road's out, so. Actually, a lot of human history where things like that were allowed. Not really. That's just not really true. You know, like, you could say that... No, that's really not true. Murder has always been bad. Like, and, and not just bad, because there's a difference between bad and allowed. Something can be bad and still allowed. A abortion, for instance. But, uh... You know, uh, you know, like, killing people has always been not just disallowed, but also bad. Like, it, it's been both. And, uh, yeah, in certain situations, people have said it's okay. But in certain situations, people stay, still say it's okay. That hasn't changed. Like, yeah, people kill people in war. A lot of people will justify that. That's always been the case. You know what I mean? Hmm. Morals are objective. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the morals are obviously objective. That fucking pterodactyl can walk on two legs. It's the scariest thing I've seen all game. Yeah, I mean, mor morals are objective, but also, like, how people feel about morals isn't necessarily objective. But, despite that, um, they've been pretty consistent about stuff like murder. Why are there so many dinosaurs? Uh, don't you know we're playing Dino Crisis? Oh, fuck, sweet. I knew there'd be something good in this alleyway. Luckily, the people of Silent Hill are not only avid gun owners who buy- who stockpile ammunition in case the government comes to take their guns away, but they're also detestable litterers, and they leave their bullets on the fucking sidewalk where, where a man in need can find them. It's a- it's a very convenient set of circumstances. And I can believe it, actually. I mean, that- that woman at the beginning did just fuck up- fucking hand us a handgun. So, I'm- you know. Um... I have, uh, reached an impasse. I need to get to the middle school, which is in the southwest corner. Uh, and every single road is out. Hmm. That is... interesting. I guess I just need to go look around. Fucking, what do you get out?
Killing babies is okay, though. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. Please stop. Please just go away. I'm trying to find my kid. Just let me do it. Okay? Thanks. Was that something? Was that? Oh, that's just some grass. So I guess we need to... My guess here is probably one of these streets, well, maybe one of these alleyways I can get through, where I can go through some building. Which means actually I should have taken a turn back there. Let's try that. I'm guessing that's what it is that I need to go through here. Also, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, that dream was 20 times scarier than anything in this game so far. Like running away from, like right now they've thrown everything at me. No parking, okay. Like, now it's like, I mean, obviously they haven't, at least I hope. But, like, now it's like the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, there's a bunch of monsters and shit. Yeah, you know, it's not a dream, and you've got to fucking fight him. But it's like, okay, well, if I, I just have to fight him, you know, whatever. I'm, oh, I'm back here. It's like, alright, I, I can deal with that. Whereas, like, the, the dream sequence, it's the fucking ambient noise, I think, is part of it. Like, this is just mostly silent. It's like, okay fine. But, like, that music, before anything even happened, it was fucking freaking me out. Like, that was that was top-tier horror ambience. Um, hmm. Which is, which is concerning. It's almost like they did that at the beginning of the game, just to show you they could do it. You know? Like, fucking watch out. Watch out, buddy. We can do this to you at any time. You know, and now we're not going to do it. You know, now it turns into just like a sort of semi-regular uh, survival horror game, but with the fog turned up to 120%. But, but other than that, you know, not not too crazy. Uh, hey, dogs, give me a second. Thanks. But there's always, there's that, you know, thought in the back of your head that like at any moment they could turn on those fucking spooky noises again and really get me. Where am I now? Hmm. That's... Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll... I guess let's find the doghouse. That's our only other clue here. Is that, uh... The doghouse on Levin Street. That was... You know... Fucking written down on a piece of paper. And that's what we're... That's what we're basing all of our actions on right now. Is what... Someone, presumably our daughter, wrote on pieces of paper. Now, you might question that. You might think, hey, Harry, why would you, you know, even if it is, even if you are trying to find your daughter, what the fuck does she know about how to get around in Silent Hill? Why are you listening to her advice about, like, you know, survival? You know, go to the Levin Street doghouse. What does she know? Could be suicide going there, but he trusts his daughter, even if she is eight years old, you know. Stupid, but it's admirable. Where's the fucking doghouse? Oh, sweet. House key was hidden inside the doghouse. Take it, yes. But which house? This one? Oh, fucking sweet. I like how you, you just fucking ignore these dogs. First aid. Yes. Am I in good working condition? Good enough. You know, good good enough. We'll keep that pipe out. Long range, but of limited use. Oh. Oh. Silent Hill changes location based on what game it is. Kind of like Springfield. Oh. Huh. So, like, sometimes it's in... Pennsylvania or something, and sometimes it's somewhere else. This one's in Pennsylvania. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's obviously... I knew it was America. You know, even though this is a Japanese game, they don't fucking give out handguns in Japan. But I can tell you from experience that my local cop would have given me a handgun. What is that? Oh, it's a plant. <laughs> it's just a plant. I'm now, like, assuming things are going to be scary. Nothing special. But I mean, is there something in that cookie jar? Or... No, just tea. 
just just tea just good old american tea in in little tea cups like americans do you know i should probably do let's do slot two also although wait what oh that's memory slot two. Oh. okay so now I've got it saved on two memory cards and in two different files on one of them. Okay. I really can't fuck up then, so that should be good. Take more ammo. What are we doing? Are we, like, fucking stocked? Five. What do you mean, five? Every time we pick up one of these, is it oh, no, yeah, we've got 90. Reload, 15. 80. Oh, we've got fucking bullets to spare. Yeah, just carry the gun around like a good, a good open carrying American. There's locks on the back door. There are three locks. Shoot them. I've never found a uh, problem in my life that I haven't been able to shoot through. That was the first time for everything. Health drink, sweet. Maybe they keep their kids keys in the fridge? No. Upstairs? There is no upstairs. Just this. Can I bust it down? Was I really just supposed to go into this room to find out- Like, I was supposed to go into this house to find out I could do nothing else in this house? Wow. A problem that both shooting and knifing cannot solve. I'm fucking stumped. That's my full range of options. Maybe they could left it in a cabinet. Nope. Also, I like that you can walk like this. Just so you're always fucking ready at any moment. Like, I fucking dare you to jump out at me when I find this key. I dare you. Something written on the wall there, by the way. Can I run while doing that? No, of course not. Okay, well, this seems like a bust. Unless this house key opens up all the houses, I seem to not have much more to do there. 